texturing 3D models using casual images has gained increasing importance in the last decade. As can be seen, the model and the source image can vary greatly. The challenge is to handle the differences in shape and articulation between the photographed object and the model, as well as the photography effects that result from the viewpoint and the object's 3D geometry. The common approach to use an arbitrary image as texture source is by constrained parameterization. This approach is suitable for casual images. However, distortions might be introduced due to the 3D geometry of the photographed object and the image viewpoint. This problem is visible in this example of a mug. Since in the source image the text appears curved and the letters seem unequal, the resulting texture mapping seems incorrect. The text remains distorted. Compensating for these effects is challenging, even with a large number of constraints. Our contributions are 1. A new algorithm for texturing a 3D model for casual images. 2. An interactive system that enables texturing with few constraints. 3. A new visibility determination algorithm. We propose a novel method for performing texture mapping. The key idea is to perform the photogrammetric approach, which recovers the camera parameters in pose and thus inherently compensates for the photography effects. However, since this approach cannot handle casual images, which may be very different from the model, we recover the parameters locally at each vertex of the mesh. In order to find a local camera projection for each vertex, the constraints are weighted non-uniformly. This weighting scheme takes into account the geodesic distances of a given point from the constraints. This ensures that the mapping satisfies the user constraints. Here, you can see an interactive texturing session with our system, Flexi Stickers. The user specifies only six constraints. An initial mapping is computed from these constraints. The user now fine-tunes the results by repositioning the constraints interactively. You can see that the distorted text of the input image is compensated for. We now show an interactive session texturing a more complex example, a model of a woman. The user starts by specifying five constraints, which are insufficient. The user then adds more constraints and the result is improved accordingly. It can be seen that our system overcomes the differences in shape, proportions and articulation between the model and the photographed object. Here you can see the final results of texturing the entire model with two images, one of each side using 70 constraints in total. Our mapping compensates for the 3D geometry of the photographed object visible in the correct texturing on the woman's t-shirt. We will now show a few additional results. This result can be compared to Crevoy et al. 2003. Unlike constraint parameterization, we do not need to cut the mesh into two separate disks, thus avoiding the need for stitching. Moreover, we use only 30 constraints, comparable to almost 100. This example shows full texturing of a model in which constraint parameterization does not work well. Again, the text in the image presents a high distortion due to the viewpoint and the 3D geometry of the object. Our algorithm compensates for these effects. Finally, in this example, we are given a casual image of a racing car. In this image, there exists a large difference in the visible depth values. Constraint parameterization would result in high distortions, since the two goals of constraint parameterization, minimizing distortions and satisfying constraints, conflict. Only 26 constraints are required to texture the car. As can be seen, our result is eye-pleasing from various viewpoints. In conclusion, this paper has presented a novel method for texturing three-dimensional models using casual images. It provides the advantages of the photogrammetric texturing approach with the flexibility of the constraint parameterization approach. Since it accounts for the 3D geometry of the photographed object in the camera pose, it allows us to texture models with source images that cannot be used by other approaches. Thank you.